following along on a console or Hog 4 PC, you should load the show for video 1.3. Let's talk about groups. Groups are used to select fixtures with one button press. They're stored in the group directory. To open the group directory, hold down open, press the group button. It's important to note that groups, they have no position information, color information, or beam information. They're just a series of fixtures. Now, when we did patch, you'll remember we pressed the auto palette button. That generates a set of predefined groups. Now, auto palette doesn't know how our rig is hung or where our fixtures are placed. So it's useful to add some additional groups. Let's go ahead and make a group of the downstage color source pars. Selecting 201 through 206, brings them into the programmer, press record, and you select the group directory button you want it to be in. Now to label this, we press set. Press set again to bring the on-screen keyboard up, and I'm gonna label these DS for downstage pars. You'll see I've created a couple other ones for our solo washes and the mid-stage pars, and I've colored them. To color code your button, simply right-click on it and select the color you want. Feel free to add the groups that would make sense for your show file. Moving on to palettes. Palettes are where we store programmed information for our lights. We use these palettes to build our cues. While programming, if we modify a palette, those modifications will show up in all the cues referencing that palette. By default, each directory stores the information of its name. For example, storing information into a position palette will store position. The basic syntax of recording a palette is the same regardless of the palette type. I'm gonna open up my position directory here, select my solar frame 750s, bring them on, tilt them down, and I wanna store that as a position. Record, position. Now if you notice, I put it in position 15, which is aligned with the solar frame 750s on the group directory. This is just a trick that I like to do to keep things organized. Now to label that, you type set, press set again to bring on the on-screen keyboard, and I'm gonna label this 750 band. Now let's make another one. Let's move them all over to the drummer. Use my next and back keys to select the individual fixtures. Press record, press the next cell. I'm gonna label that as 750 drum. And there we go. Move the fixtures where you'd like them, record it, label it. Let's talk about color palettes. I'm gonna open up my color directory here and you'll see auto palettes has given us some predefined colors. but we may not want to use that or we need something less saturated. So let's go ahead and make something. Go into our color kind, bring saturation to full, hue to zero, which would be exactly the same as the red mix, but let's desaturate it. Press record, press a color cell, and then let's label that as light red. Let's take a step back and talk about expanding on our position palettes we've already created. Here I have our solar frame 750s on the 750 drum position palette. Say I want to change the beam parameters of this palette to be a little tighter on the drummer. I'm gonna select my fixtures that I want to modify Go into beam, adjust the zoom. And really tighten it up a bit. Okay, I adjusted zoom on the three fixtures. I could easily store that into a beam palette, but to me, it doesn't make sense because I want to have those fixtures go to that zoom level when I go to the 750 drum position. To do that, with the light selected, the modifications the zoom made, 
to press record, use position and zoom, select your new palette. Now you'll see in the palette window it has P and B, referencing that it's got position information and beam information. Select my lights, bring them down, and they're stored. All of our palette directories can be overridden to have any other information in it. For example, if I just wanted to have color in the position directory, I would simply select color and record into the position directory. If I wanted everything, I could select add all and it would take all programmer information and store it into the directory I chose. In the next video, we'll look at recording some looks and playing them back.